G'day folks, welcome to Big VTV. Great to have you with us. Hey, guys. hey what are you doing over there? Oh. Where have you been? You'll find out in a minute. That's a fair way away, actually. It is. It is. I like a bit of distance. Mm. We can't even hold hands from here. Can't. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Kind of nice. Hey, listen, but, we're down in Tyab. We're down in Tyab. Now, one man that knows a few of the teams in D2 men is Vlad Tankov. Yes. He doesn't play D2 anymore. Not anymore. He's a level above that. He's up in D1. Yep. But we're out at Vlad's Antique Emporium or whatever it's called. Emporium. Well, it's got everything. There's antique. He's very good when it comes to antiques. Old things. Yeah. I walked in the door. He tried to scrub me up a little bit and polish me up. Well, put me, can do, sa- put me on sale. Antique. Some would say you can do some, some polishing. Speaking of antiques, guess who's missing? Well, the chair's here. I'll get a slap across the ear for that. You watch. Oh, it's yeah. the throne. Well, it's the throne. It's and there's only one person who deserves to be on the throne. Dun, 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 Thank you, boys. <laughs> is, that the, is that the wedding march or the death march? The funeral march? What is that? That's the I'm unemployed march. <laughs> oh, very nice. Hail to the chief. Speaking Hail of the chief. Yes. How's your lovely wife? Oh, she's, <laughs> right. she's all right. Boy. She doesn't watch the show, so. <laughs> okay. We could say anything about my wife, but exactly. you have no idea. Uh, Division two, men and women. You're really batting out of your crease, though, aren't you? Batting out of my crease or yes. batting out of my league? Well, both. Well, I can, I can, I can batting out of your Well, crease. I can bat out, do you know, you know the game cricket? I could bat out of my crease and still hit a six. Really? Yeah, I well, think so. You, you certainly have. Yeah, oh, thanks very much. <laughs> She'll appreciate that. She um, doesn't watch the show. No, though. she doesn't. No, no, stays right away from it. Division <laughs> two, men and women. Okay. Division two men is very close. Division two women is very close. Well, let's have a look at division two women to okay. start off with. Oh, well, you're sitting on the throne. You can take us away this week. Here we go. <laughs> I feel we just, we just, we just mere mortals. So to do like We are the not chair? worthy. No, we're not. It's, it's very a bit good. Of something, no, isn't it? It's nice. I think nice. that it uh, look good in the office, actually, Blake. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, getting to hook us up with this. <laughs> um, cracker of a game, the Jenny Mark Cup. Jenny Mark Cup. Jenny Mark Cup. She doesn't mind us saying that. No, she? she loves it. Did they actually present something after the game? No, the gen- no, I saw it. They didn't. Nothing. No, no trophy. What's going on with that? I think she might have a few trophies. Yes. On her. Well, why didn't, game, why, didn't, why didn't Jenny just bring down her under 11 MVP trophy that's about this big and use that for the Gen Mark Cup? That's what she should have done. She might have. We well, didn't go. We okay. Went. Chelsea got up though. Chelsea did get up. Mm. Yeah. Tell us about it. Well, you tell us about right, it. You're the Div 2 women's expert. <laughs> Chelsea, 60 defeated <laughs> Mornington, 54. Cherie Johnson did an ankle in this game for Mornington, I believe. Badly? Uh, well, I heard that she may have tweaked it, went back out on the court and did it worse again. That's what I've heard. Okay. Whether that's the case or not, I don't know. But, well, they um, should have Tegan Roth coming back next week. Mm. Anyway. Yeah, Cherie but Johnson anyway, Mornington shot 18 of 41 from the foul line. They 18 to 41. Hey, Cal, just for all of our viewers out there, oh. can you tell me how much defense has played at the foul line? There's none, yeah. None. There's none. None. Zero. none. But Cal, tell me, if you had 41 shots, how many would you make? I reckon 40. I'd make over 30. I would make, I would make over 30. Over 30? Yeah, I'd probably make... I know where we're shooting next week. <laughs> 33. 33? 33 just did a guess. Yeah. Just did a rough guess. Yep. Okay. Ash I'm, Mc... at, I'm at about 70 something percent this season. Oh, really? well, there you go. He's done okay. his maths. Ash McSweeney, 15 and 8. Kiana Jordan, 13 points for the Breakers. Chelsea get up. Mornington, competitive. But they're in all sorts. They're competitive every week, no matter who they play. Well, not it's every a week. That's no, a big they call. are. It's That's a, a big call. Every well, week. We saw them play out at Werribee a fortnight yeah, ago. Yeah, Werribee are undefeated. Yeah. It was only a few points in it. Mm. They're in all sorts. They're one and seven. They got players leaving. They're not in they're... all sorts. They're competitive every week. Okay, they're one. They're one and seven. Okay, Who's they're leaving? One seven. They're Who's leaving? But does that Jen Ma? We know that. And Bridget Keat. Bridget, Bridget, Bridget Keat. Yeah, Bridget Keat. Well? Yeah, she's gone to Southern Penn. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anything else you want to say on Mornington? You might as well sink the... You, well, no, you are sinking the boots. Right? Well, maybe they need to be questioned call? how they finish games if they're losing all these close well, that's, that's oh, Maybe they can't good. execute down the stretch. Have we heard from Pete at well, all? Are you coming down to, to no. Mornington? No. <laughs> no. So Where's right. Mornington okay. this week? Mornington, Mornington Coburg, Saturday night. Hosting a triple. Why aren't you going to that? You're the playing. Play. The office has been invited. Playing. Well, maybe so you should take. He's maybe you should take. We're down on players duty calls. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should take a week off. Could have missed me. Bring up Timo. <laughs> Ask Timo if you can have a week off. That no, wouldn't happen. Uh, they missed their cheer squad if Cal wasn't Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Co- no one to hand, hand them the towels when they come <laughs> off. Coburg, 58, defeated Western Port, 45. Lauren Cooper back for the Steelers. Hold Spoilers. that thought, by the way. Mm. 
Good to see you back out there. It was just a matter of time, wasn't it? Really? Well, Absolutely. you can only coach so many games where you're getting smashed before you go, you know what, I'm going to go out and show these kids how to play basketball. And we said from the start, if she could get on court, just the learning that those kids will now get yeah. will be immense. Agreed. It'll be really good for the Steelers. Steph Bell basis and Nadine Collins, 10 points each for the Giants. No Steeler in double digits, but don't fret. There's better news to come. Do you know Steph Bell basis hit eight of those ten in the last quarter? I didn't. It know was that. actually anyone's game. Clutch. I'm all the wiser for that. There man. you go. Good on you. And they were consecutive baskets. Too. If, if I was what? heading out to see Kobu play against Mornington this week, yeah. just to watch Steph Bell basis, could you just give me a rundown on you know what she looks like, maybe number or what colour hair or what colour shoes exactly she wears? I exactly what she looks like. Yeah, go. And so do you because you were at the grand final series last year, so you should remember. She's, She's the MVP. Did she play? MVP. Was she? Yeah. Oh, yeah. good work, Steve. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Played very, very well in that game. She had a cracker. Of it was a really second well. Game, yeah. It was serious. Anyway. What's her name again? Oh, Bell Basis. Okay, Werribee 52 defeated Melbourne Uni 48. Black Angels led 24 to 8 at quarter time. Oh, you would have thought it was. Well, well, I, I was with Tin Can Alley. I, I wanted yeah. Tin Can Alley to come alive. What, what on earth went wrong? Undefeated. Where are we? Undefeated. <laughs> I reckon it would have been a good old fashioned Lloyd Clayman rally. I reckon he would have got him up. What? Well, did you see that? Like all that sort of stuff? Yeah. What, just marching up and down Tin Can Alley? Probably. The second quarter was pretty much a reversal of that, though, wasn't it? I think okay. Lloyd must have given him an absolute rocket. Right. <laughs> the Black Angels scored two points in the second quarter. They shot one of 16. If anyone has Lloyd Clayman's. Um, quarter time spray on tape. We would love a copy of it. We promise we won't distribute it. Or we even, just want a copy. We even want to hear what Randy said to, to the Black Angels at quarter time. Great quarter girls. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Let's keep it up. Just really just focus on the things we're doing well. We're doing a great job. Just keep on top of it. Let's go in with a big lead at half time. Came out and scored two points, one of 16 in the second quarter. You reckon that's what Kim would have said? Well, she would have been positive. She, she would have been negative. She would have sat back. She would have gone, we got this. Just she would have said, just go play. Just what? have some fun now. The game's over. Got, got what? Maybe daiquiri in the left hand? Peace pipe in the right? No, they went home. They went home. Not any daiquiris at home. Oh, they might take them on the road with them. <laughs> anyway, good win. Werribee there unbeaten. Blackburn 59 went down to Southern Penn 60. Sharks needed a 21-13 last quarter to win. Wow. So they were tested. Jasmine Lovejoy, the Rev, scored an and one with five seconds to play. 19 points in the game. Brody Galea, 18 and 11. Alexander Doddridge, 17 points for the Vikes. Tara Bahana, 11 and 19. The Vikes pushed them all the way. All the way. Mm. It was good to see both both the undefeated teams be really pushed yeah. this week. Um, but look, Blackburn just couldn't this is why you get it plays and imports like Jasmine Lovejoy to right. make these sort of plays that's, down the that's stretch. That's a big time play. That's exactly, right that's there. why you get them. Yeah. And you know, no, yeah, I think you, she's, a, she's a star. How much pressure Absolute lining star. up for that foul shot? Oh, yeah. I think there was a timeout in between too <clears throat> from memory, wasn't there? Oh, oh. You, you gotta, you've got to call the timeout. <laughs> Make you think about suspense. it. Yeah. Make you think about it. Casey 58 went down to Keelor 63. Thunder finished with a 27 to 16 last quarter. <laughs> Finally, we mentioned last week when Frankie scored 16 she's that starting. she was on the verge. Mm -hmm. 27 points, 7 rebounds, 6, uh, six triples in the game. Jody Impey 14 and 8. For the first time, so well done to Frankie and Jody Impey. For the first time this season, I've waited 8 rounds to say it. Lara Pauline. Two first names. Two first names. What's ten, wrong with having two first names? <coughs> ten, oh no, you've got two I, first I names. Do, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, ten points in the game. Jess Selleck, ten points in the game. I've just, I've been missing Lara. I just, I don't know, there's something about Lara. Do you know what Lara looks like? Have yeah. you, do you know, you can yeah. pick Lara, Lara yeah. out of a lineup. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, good. Blonde hair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lara Pauline, two she's first names. Yeah, she's a ripper. Yeah. I've been hanging out to say her name this season. In <laughs> fact, can I tell her, can I tell a true story? <laughs> this could go anywhere, Cal. <laughs> I don't know. I, w I, was, I was hosting the, the BV Awards a few weeks ago, and the media award was for a story written on Lara Pauline. I know, we were there. And in front of, in front of 150 odd people, all I wanted to say was two first names. <laughs> Did and you I, say no, it? I just couldn't do it. I couldn't oh, do it. I had, to, it I, great. I had to act a professional. <laughs> I just, all I wanted to do, I kept saying to myself, two first names, two Is that why you were up there going, oh, Yeah, I oh, did, yeah. But you could have been was, in a twitching. room of um, Big V TV. Yeah, I know, I was twitching, I wanted to say oh, two right. first names. Anyway, I'm glad that I've got the chance to say it. There you go. Week. So, Wait, good win here, Law, they're up and about. That's a really good win because Casey, lock you down. It is, you know, one of the toughest defensive mm, teams yeah. out there. So to score 63 and just Frankie to pull a 27, it's a really good effort. When's Mocky back? 
Sorry? I don't think it's this week. I think it's the week after. She was having a bit of a Facebook chat yeah. with a couple of people, and I think it might be around after. I think you went to the same college as Georgia Sturton. Did you know that? Really? Did she? Yeah. yeah, okay. All right. Good. There you go. Western Port 53 defeated Warnable 36. Steelers' first win of the season. Smattering. Yeah, like no, I'm not going to say that. You're I not do. Them. You don't like it. Okay. Yeah, good. There we go. Nice. I do. It's great. The Coops factor played into this, but Warrnambool yeah. were absolutely depleted this week. I take nothing away from Western Port's win. Good job. You can, the beat, you can only beat who rolls up. And Western Port, the first Western win. Port haven't been that great just quietly. No, they haven't been game. that great. Warrnambool were seriously depleted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To the okay. point where I think they had seven, not even seven fit players. They so had to making, register an additional two during the week. You're making excuses for them? Awesome. Every team goes through injuries. I'm just giving you some additional information All that right. you might not have had. Mind you, they shot at 17%, so they didn't help themselves. No, they went 10, true. 9, 9, 8. They, they pulled in two girls, because we've had to limit their roster. Yep. They dropped a division, so we were very mindful of who they could and couldn't play. What about work? Um, Katie didn't get a run. Katie's not allowed to suit up for them. She's, she's wearing mean. She's been training hard. She's fit. She's, 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 she's fit. looking fit. So they had to pull two Looks girls who haven't played for a number of years. A number of years. Anyway. Just, just let you know that. Lauren right Cooper, right. 10 and 10. Elise Shivers, 13 points. Steelers get their first win. Olivia Kreiger, 15 points. Emma Rogers, 11 and 11. Yeah, Emma's had a really good season. Has had a good season. Yeah. Good player. Ladder, Cal. Southern Peter Werribee still undefeated at 8 and 0. Oh, will Not change. Oh, yeah. Casey, 6 and 4. Coburg, 5 and 4. Top 4. Keel or 5 and 5. Looming. Looming. Keel or are looming. They Melbourne really are. Uni, 4 and 4. Warnable three and four, Blackburn three and five, Chelsea two and six, Melbourne, oh sorry, Mornington and Western Port are both one and seven. Round nine Saturday games, Mornington, Coburg. Mornington, apparently the team that puts pressure on everyone and gets close but can't win, takes on Coburg. They do, it's a triple header, I'm going to be there. Yeah, that'd be nice for yeah. you. Enjoy Cal, that. Cal's going to have a weekend off, aren't you? Come yeah, you yeah. Come see down? you there. Uh, look, there's every chance in the world, every chance in the world for this triple header. That you won't be Every there. chance that I won't <laughs> be there. That's not very nice. It's not nice, but it's true. Okay. Morning's in Kobu. Okay. Who's going to win? I think Kobu. I'm going to be there, so I'm not tipping. Oh, okay. I'm sitting in the middle uh, spot. That's... I don't have to tip, apparently. <laughs> hey, you're in the throne. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're on the throne. I'm going to sit on you the You are expected to be a leader. Sitting you're on the You're expected fence. to lead from the front. Fence. Tip. No. Are you kidding me? You, you know why? You know why? Because she's going to Mornington, and she doesn't want to upset Mornington, <laughs> yeah. but it's her team that they're playing. That's Kobu. Right. Exactly. Like she, she's a Kobu she's, girl. She's, uh, she's torn in half. Yeah, she is. Torn in Who half. Who you got, time. mate? I think Kobu would win. Oh, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I feel, feel like a ventriloquist. <laughs> yeah. Ventriloquist dummy. Western Port. <laughs> Casey. We could do <laughs> something about that on next week's show. If you want. Western Port. Where did Casey. you put that hand? <laughs> Western Port. Ah, you settled down. Western Port. And Casey. Casey. Casey will win. Yeah. Yeah, Casey, will Casey will win. Come on, get yeah. serious. Melbourne Uni, Chelsea. <laughs> get Melbourne serious. Uni, Chelsea. Um, Tin Can Alley. Melbourne Uni. Chelsea. Not easily. Chelsea to win. Yep. Wow. Yep. On what basis? To Why do not? something on, different to on, us, or yeah, because exactly. you think? Because no, 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 no. Us. Seriously, on what bell basis do you? <laughs> on what bell basis? No, it's just simply. No, <laughs> that's good though. That's good. <laughs> they got. Mornington only just lost. <laughs> To them, really, they were competitive. I've seen Mornington competitive with the top of the ladder mm. as well. So I don't think Chelsea are indicative of that two and six. Melbourne, you need a win. Okay. Warnable Blackburn. Blackburn. Will Warnable have players back this week? No. No. Ooh, okay. Nicola Hendrick, is she close? She's been out for a couple with an ankle. She comes back. They're very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Don't believe so. You know stuff, you're not telling me. Hey, you're right, Black Burn win. You said Black Burn is, what do you guys know? What's going on? Well, well who are you going? You're going Warnable. Well, Warnable at just home. Just pick No, Warnable at home are a very, very good outfit. Blackburn just got within a point of undefeated Southern Penn. Never ever underestimate Warnable at Warnable home. Just they are 36 a, points. They are a very good team at home. Okay, so you're going no, well. we're, you're not giving them the respect they deserve at home. You're going Warnable? I'm going for Blackburn to win. <laughs> Sunday games, Chelsea, Western Port. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Chelsea. 
<laughs> Chelsea to win for me. Western Port. Okay, fair enough. Keel or Blackburn? Keel or Keel or to win? Yeah. Big test for Blackburn this weekend. Southern Penn Werribee. There's the game that matters. Eight and zero, both teams. Werribee. Game of the round Southern the Penn at home. Definitely game of the round. Definitely. Southern Penn at home to Werribee. Werribee. Why? Oh, I think Werribee have been in better form. I think they were. They'll be a, a, a clip above. Where are you going? Uh, sorry, who am I going for? Yeah. I think Southern Penn will win at home. Why? I oh, just. You know, well, I'll put it this way. Here's my theory. Okay. Southern Penn 8 and 0. <laughs> Werribee 8 and 0. Two teams unbeaten. Two teams that have a lot of confidence. They're playing well. Yep. Go with the home team. Two teams that have got an absolute go to player. If in doubt, just go the home team. Lovejoy versus Troyan. Who's going to win? If in doubt, just go the home team. Okay, Werribee. Okay, so I'm the only one going, I'm the only one going for Southern Penn. You yep. still with us, mate? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Div two men. Don't say we don't give love to D two women. Oh, yeah. Mate, we have shared the love big time. What about sixteen minutes of love? Sorry. Big time love. D two men. Keezy. Mm-hmm. Keezy. Mm. Yes. Is that the same Keysborough that won the week before? Is that mm-hmm. Vody's Keysborough? Yeah, they lost to the Mornington by thirteen points. Ninety-three. And, uh, Mornington one hundred six. No, oh, that's they right. By fifty, so they did well. Well, here's here's the thing with Keysborough. Yeah. You just can't let in 106 points. No. You're not going to win games of basketball. Stuff the 93 that you scored. No. What's going on defensively? Just about the whole team scored nearly 20 points. Yeah, well, you got Christian had 25, Demarcus had 19, Smith had 19. Like, you know, you you can contain one of those. Oh, Josh. Slowinski 25 <coughs> points, Ben 10, 20 and 11, Alistair Granger 18 Look, points. No doubt, Keysborough a biggest disappointment, we know that. Yeah. They've been horrible. Hey, didn't they shoot at 42% or something? Yeah. It's just no, Mornington missed. It's, it's not about that. No, 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 Mornington no, missed nothing. It's not about that. I'm just they saying, gave up 106. Yes, they couldn't, de- couldn't defend a witch's yeah. hat. But right now, although they've been deplorable, they're only... What? Don't they're they're equal, equal for fourth. fourth. Don't they're they're equal, equal fourth right now. They've got to do a fair bit of work though. Sorry, no, they're not. They're one, one half, win. half a win. Half a win yeah. off. Half a win out of the top. Got to play better than that though. Oh, they do. At but home, they yeah. give up 106. If they're going to make playoffs. Are they at they've, home this week? I wanna, they've got to get on it. Because I'm home. available Saturday night. Well, well, even if they're away, I can go down and help Vody this week. Well, that would I'll be a good one to go to. Do you reckon Vody would want me working with him? Yep. Well, I'm available Saturday night, Vody. Give me a text, Vody. I'm, I'm happy to. I'm happy to come down and and work with Keezy, and I probably won't add anything, but I'm happy to come down and at least you know cheer from the bench and hand out the towels, and I'd probably stop short of rub downs and that sort of stuff. But so you're not offering to coach. Are you oh, saying well, if, are you saying that Vody can't coach? No, you should step in and no, do it, and you'll get a win. No, I'll Is just if, if Vody if Vody would like me to help out with the matchups on the board or something like that, or so you're offering squiggle a, a few assistant. things down. I'm happy to be assistant coach at Keezy for this Saturday night. Okay. For Keezy this Saturday night. And we wear a shirt. A a- shirt? Absolutely, yeah, okay. part of the crew. I'm happy to join the crew for the for the weekend. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Watch this space. Watch it. Every chance he'll tell me to get <laughs> stuffed. Anyway, Shepherd and Fifty Seven went down to the hashtag yes. Sixty Nine. They're up and about. How are you going? You're right. Yeah, yeah, we just went in. We're supposed to save that. <laughs> Nice work. Hashtags are back, so you couldn't say it. Hashtags have won their last four games. You can't see them dropping one anytime nice. soon. Can I just put oh, it on no, record? Wrong. Can I just put it on record? Because the, the, the throne lady was away. Can I just put it on record? I said to everyone at the start of the season when they lost their first three, just back off. Just leave them you alone. You said they need to call their jets. Just, yeah, let they us. They themselves need yeah. to call them jets. Settle That's down. what you said. You coach. Settle down, just get your system together. But you do know who they play this week. Don't care, they've won the last four. Okay. Don't well, care. Have an interesting oh, conversation no, shortly. No, I don't care who they play this week, the hashtags, they're up and about and I love them. 5769. Okay. Oh, you're doing. <laughs> no, hashtags have won their last four, they're up and about. Gators 32, there is no way, no one, I'll be going against the hashtags anytime soon. Okay. Gators 30 turnovers, another loss at home for Shep. Another loss. They're sliding. Yeah. They're sliding. Paul Ross, 13 points. Michael McCallum, 11 and 10. Matty Waite, 10 and 11 for Still the love Gators. Matty Waite. Still love Waite. Won't win the MVP. Coburg, 53, went down to Western Port, 73. There's a big story in this. I caught up with Nathan Marsh on Sunday. Uh, I said, mate, not good last night. He said, no, and it doesn't help when you're leading by a point with five minutes to go. They Whoa. lost by 20. They were up by a point with five minutes to go and lost by 20. How did they do That's that? ridiculous. Oh, it's your team. Send them a message. 
It's your team. Look down the barrel. Send Coburg a message right now. That's disgusting. I'm appalled. That's the message. That's a message. Appalled. <laughs> appalled. Disgusting. I'm not appalled by this. Lucky that they have good choice of footwear, otherwise the relationship would be over. Steelers 30 to 7 last quarter. Matty Williams 20 points. Jordan Harding 18 points for Coburg. I oh, will come back to this game. Casey 63 went down to Keelor 72. Casey have lost their last four games. They Brent Radislavich 19 points. Uh, Scotty Drysdale 16. Dylan Wayman 20 points for Casey. But no friends. Mate, they've lost their last four games. They have. What's going on? Well, they might have lost their last four games, but it's all about social media down there. Oh, of course. They it won is. the logo contest on Facebook. Well done. What more matters? Well really? done. We've, we've accomplished. We've uh, assisted with raising about six and a half grand of their end of season fund just by naming players on this show. But we're not going to name any this week up, no. No, well, Dylan Wayman scored twenty. Who? Well, you got to. Well, you got to mention. Well, it's on the. It's on the notes. Dylan Wayman scored. You got to mention. Is Dylan Wayman on yours as well? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you got to mention Dylan Wayman. He scored twenty. Do just after Dylan yeah, Wayman. Yeah, but if he's on our sheet, mm. we've got to mention Dylan Wayman. It's a good comeback. A couple of weeks ago, didn't he? Um, Score a donut? Oh, Dylan Wayman. Wayman. Dylan Wayman Who? scored zero points a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. He was okay last week, but he scored 20 points this week. I know Casey went down. But good comeback from Dylan Wayman. Yeah, Dylan Wayman was yeah. good. All right, let's have a look Dylan Wayman. Before we have a look at the ladder, let's have a look at the last game that we need to talk about in D2, man. You little beauty. Oi. Our boys. Thanks, Packy. In overtime. 75-73. It's the upset of the season. It is. Any it division. Is. Yeah. yeah. The and bottom team all. beat the top team. Doesn't matter what happens for us here. In OT. In OT. Biggest upset for sure. No score in the last 90 seconds of regulation time, no. if, if the live stats are correct. Maccabi actually had four shots to one in the last <sighs> pin and a half. Couldn't play one to win the game. Went into OT. Hold on. I've got a YouTube clip to show now. Yep. Benji Tamir. Who? Sorry, what's his name? Benji Tamir. Oh, Benji Tamir. <laughs> one more yeah. time. Benji Tamir. Tamir. Yeah. He uh, put back. Came up clutch. Put back. Offensive well, rebound. Really put back. Oh, wasn't it? Well, he, well, he, got in. he took his first it. shot. Nobody boxed him out. He got it back and then had a bit of a dribble around. Dang. And then just a heave and he drilled it. Game over. See you later. The first shot was ugly, though. Yeah, it was way off. That was to put it into overtime. <laughs> no, no, no. No, that was to win. Oh, oh, sorry, to win. It was, yeah, to win in overtime. Good confidence yeah. to go back and have another dip. Well, and he's dribbled it back, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Lined it up. Well, Bang. What's his name again? Benji Tamir. Oh, Tamir. Okay, yeah. Tamir. Uh, Pakenham is going to catch a certificate. He's lost it. See if they're picking. Mm. <laughs> All right, okay, no worries. Back in need of the 25 14 last quarter to force overtime. They're down by about five. Uh, a couple of minutes to go. Thereabouts. Yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, they did well. Got up no team. Yeah. Our boys won the rebound count 54 to 35. Vinji Tamir, 17 points. <laughs> Adam Class, 17. Is it Dean? Dean Schechter. Schechter. Dean Schechter, 13 and 16. Adam Lake, 12 and 13. Job. Jeff Reed, 29 points, 5 steals, 6 triples. Jeff Reed did his job for Packy. He didn't make out. That's a massive win. Well, Ferry was yeah. like really quiet. Ferry did nothing. Yeah. Did nothing. I wouldn't say he did nothing. Well, he didn't do much. He just kept quiet. He didn't do much. Okay. And Top. James Top didn't do much. Hey, listen, a message to you got something to say to Packenham? Or is it just all about our boys? I think they just had a shotgun. Yeah, they yeah, do. They'll them. bounce back. Yeah, I don't have any doubt. Let's well, have they've got an easy one next week. Let's have a look at the ladder. They had a shocker. Reed hits 29 points. Yeah. And they had a shocker, you reckon? Yeah. Okay. The team had, had a, a shocker. Team. Played a very good team, our boys. When our boys are up and about. Yeah, and you're right, when they are up and about, yeah, they can knock it. off anyone. We yeah. saw them on Keezy on that Wednesday Smashed night. Them. When they started getting a few Smashed and things them. are going well, they just get fired yeah. up. But this isn't new. They do this every season. Yeah. They beat someone really high, and then the next week, they're lucky to score 40 points. And you yeah. think, is it the same side we're watching? Oh, yeah. Yeah, go easy on them. They're all right. Just oh. go easy on our boys. They're okay. <laughs> They you will not criticize. They just beat the top team. <laughs> really? Yeah. You haven't got a seat on the bus yet. Okay. Plush seats too. Oh. Mm. Plush. Tell him. I've got a woolen cover on mine. Hey, I've got, nah, I've got a woolen cover. It's yeah. like a three inch thick. Mine's like an electric warmer <laughs> on, nice. the, on my bum. It's <laughs> nice. It's nice. Tell us the letter. Packenham are six and three. Kill or five and three. Mornington five and three. Melton are four and Hashtags four. Hashtags won their last four. They're That's now it. sitting in fourth. Yes. So four made finals this year. Not tipping against them. Shepard and, yeah. Shepard and Casey and Coburg are all on four and four as wow. well. Keezy are three and four. McCarvey's two and seven. Go out, boys. Anyone Ridiculous. Anyone's, anyone's game. Saturday games, round nine. Can't wait for this. Packenham, Keysborough. Packenham by 26. 
26. Mm, Packy by 26. Packy have just lost to the bottom team. That's why they will beat Keysborough by 26. Packy by 45. <laughs> <laughs> they will come out and absolutely smash Keysy. Yep. Whether you're coaching or not. Well, there's a chance I'll beat this game. I reckon that if I get the call up to this game, sub we in, sub in no, no, no. no, I reckon I reckon if I get the call up to this game, just to you know, right hand man, be the wingman for voting. Yeah. We, we, Keezy, we I think we might get up. I think your club will have a problem with that. I think I think we might get up this week. I've got to tell you, Ryan Rogers will not take that loss lying down. No. Packy will smash them. I think we might get up. Absolutely. If I don't get a phone call, yep. and I'm sitting at home doing nothing on Saturday night, I reckon Packy might win by about 24. Okay. Mornington Coburg, who do you have? I have Mornington, they're hot at the moment, they're feeling good. Oh uh, yeah, no, I like the breakers, yep. Yep, like them. On the fence. Oh, come I'm on. gonna be there. That's so crap. Because if I tip, That's then crap. as soon as one team wins or the other, you will come you up love, and they grab you by the arm. Yeah, yeah, got that right. Yeah, you love Bomber, no. you love Bomber, you love all the boys down at Coburg. Not tipping. No, West, that's, no, no we'll, we'll not tipping. On. Western Port Casey. I think you've got to go uh, Casey here. Western oh, Port aren't even in the good, ladder, really? apparently. They're not well, even I think in. Dylan Wayman got well, to mention this week. Western Port aren't even in the competition. Dylan, Dylan Wayman got to mention this week. Where are Western Port on the ladder, mind you? Don't know. You didn't put it in the notes. <laughs> <It's a hard laughs> yeah. uh, I think, uh, yeah, no, I like Western Port at the moment. Yeah. No, Casey, last week. Casey will snap their losing streak. Sunday. Oh, Melton McCarby. Now, you said Melton. Is that right? You said Melton are going to win no matter yeah. what. Hang on, is that right? Yeah, well, you is. said, mate, so I told you, 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 I don't know what you've done, but you've just gone against our boys after they've no, one of their franchises. No, I didn't know that. Is that, is that, is that this week? That's serious. I didn't know they were playing each other this week. So, well, you've what are you going to You're, you're going to back your words or you're going to be go against it and go with the boys? So, loyalty or your pride? <laughs> loyalty or pride? <laughs> he has neither. Yeah, well. Uh, no, no. You will <laughs> play two. You want, no, no, you have to. You have to. I'm going Maccabi. Who are you going for in this Hashtags? game? Hashtags? Hashtags have been very They're not going to lose another game. They've won four in a row. What do you else get? They beat Packingham, you know, every time. Ben, just me a game winner. Hashtags are playing really well. You're a big mate. But. <laughs> but. Hashtags have been playing really well. But. I love that woolen cover on my seat. It's very nice. It's a deep. plush seat. Say it. I, I don't even need to say it. Don't even need to say it. Now, boys. We're going to get up. Hashtags don't do. We're, we're going to get up. Last week. Don't make a fool of me. Keel or Shepard in the last game? I think Keel or win that game. I think Keel or get up. Yep. Shepard and haven't been great lately. No. I think Keel or get yep. up. Can't hey, get our, boys, our boys, well done. There's every chance that I will or won't be down at the uh, Packing of Cheesy <laughs> game. We'll wait and see what happens. See you next week. Enjoy that throne. You won't get it next week. Enjoy it. See ya.